revival. We've been having a great time. Amen? Amen. And I believe the community is taking note. Uh, they've seen this, this area go through all kinds of things. They've seen this lot be vacant for decades. Uh, and then to see it built and uh, now something is going on every day. I've seen a couple of them just stand outside looking at us. Trying to figure out what are they doing now? And that's what this is about. Uh, our theme is This Is Us. It's an opportunity to uh, introduce ourselves to this community and to explain what we believe and who we are uh, through this revival. And even tonight, this is an important part of factor of who we are. Yeah. We're a group of people that just love to get together and sing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen? We don't have to have no healing. We don't have to have no <laughs> prophecy. Nobody acting up out of character. We can just get excited about coming together and singing together, yeah. praying together, hearing the word together. Amen? Yeah. And so we thank you for being with us today. We've got some great acapella singing in line. Uh, with the Christian Echoes yeah. and Redeemed, and we're going to have a great time. But I also want to introduce one of the speakers. We had some amazing preachers uh, to come through this revival. They, they're not only they not only they not only did a great job, a great sermon, but they actually had great messages Amen. in this great preaching. Y'all follow me? And, and uh, our Speaker for this weekend, Brother Orlando Thomas. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Durham uh, is, uh, is here with us. We have a special relationship. He interned with us out of Southwestern, and we got to share with him some of our beliefs, some expository preaching, relevant ministry. And he went from here to California, to Florida. And now he's in Durham with his wife and his three children. And God has blessed him in a mighty way. And we're glad to have him here with us for a few days. Amen? Amen. Uh, so we're going to have him to come and share a few words and bless the church, bless the efforts, and then we'll get right back to some acapella singing. So put your hands together for Brother Orlando Thomas. Of the Southside Church of Christ in Durham, North Carolina. Church, say amen again. Amen. Earlier when he announced uh, who I was, uh, you know, I thank God for the people in the crowd who knew me. Glory to God. And uh, for those of you who may not uh, know me, it's so good to be here. I'm so excited uh, to be a part. I've been waiting. I've been watching. Uh, and anticipatorially, I've been waiting to get here uh, to be a part of, of this great uh, festivities, these great festivities, as God has blessed this church, amen, uh, and God is blessing uh, this community because of this church, and I'm just so happy uh, to be a contributor in this month-long revival as we praise God for all the good things that he's done. The Psalms, David said, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Uh, David was speaking to himself, and David was saying that he had enough reason by himself to praise God all by himself. And, 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 and the thing that I want you to remember is sometimes we have to be uh, manufactured or, or, or motivated to praise God. Uh, but when you just take time and think about what God has been doing for you in your life, uh, amen, amen. I, I'm glad I got a witness over here. Uh, sometimes we just need to stop and just think about what God has done. Amen. And when you do, uh, you, it all calls you to break out into praise because God has been my good. Now, I'm so grateful. Don't want to take too much time, but I just want to give you an encouraging, a quick encouraging word. As I was looking at my time and position uh, on the calendar to be here, uh, by the time I leave, you'll be right in the middle. Amen. Uh, by the time I leave, you'll be right in the middle. So like I said, man, I, I want to leave, even start this week or this weekend, or just leaving a word. Uh, uh, what would you say to people?
people who celebrate what God has done right in the middle. Uh, glory to God. And I'm reminded of a text over in Matthew chapter 17, uh, verse number 1, where Jesus took Peter, James, and John, and they went up on a mountain, uh, and Jesus was transfigured before them, uh, and then Moses and Elijah appeared. Y'all remember the story? Uh, and, and, and when it happened, it was a, it was a pinnacle, I believe, in, even in uh, Peter's ministry. And when it happened, Peter was excited to say, Lord, it is good for us to be here. It's, it's good for us to be here. Uh, uh, and, and, and even in our own lives, kings, as we come to this moment, God has been doing great things. Amen? Amen. Uh, he's been blessing you. He's been blessing this church. You've seen God do great things. And just like uh, uh, Peter, I'm sure many of you have said, it is good for us to be here. It's good for us to be right in this month, right in this moment. Uh, but as Peter was there, uh, uh, we all know the story that it said a bright light shine out of the clouds and God, a voice spoke out of the clouds and said, uh, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Uh, and we know that really, uh, as Peter was talking about building a tabernacle to Elijah and to Moses, God spoke up and said, Peter, yeah, I hear all that praise, I hear all that that you're saying, but don't miss the point of why you're here. Uh, Y'all ain't helping me right there. That's all right. Uh, could spin it, I would even say to you that as Peter would get so excited about being at this pinnacle, at this great moment of all that God has allowed his eyes to see, uh, another way to spin what God even said when he said, this is my beloved son, hear ye him, is really he was trying to tell Peter, Peter, you think that's something? You, you think because you've gotten to this place and you've seen what God has done thus far in, through and in the life of Jesus Christ that you've seen all there is to witness that God has to do? God was really saying, Peter, it's just a middle. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't helping me right now. It's just a middle. We just, we're just in the middle of this thing. You, you have witnessed what Jesus has done up until this point. But after this, he's going to do something greater than you see. To this point. I'm preaching and y'all still ain't helping me. I'm preaching for a witness tonight. Uh, and, and what I'm trying to say to you, church, is, is everything we've seen God do thus far, God has done great things worthy of our praise, worthy of our celebration for what he's done. But I want to remind you, even right now, it's only just a middle. Uh, it's so much more that God wants to do. It's so much more that God is going to do. And we've got to be ready and, uh, and, and anticipating the glory of God be revealed. Amen. Let me tell you like this. I like watching movies. Love, love movies. And not only I like movies, I like good movies. I like good movies. And, and I, I'm, not really, I'm not really technical when it comes to determining what a good movie is. I don't have a long list of requirements to tell you what a good movie is. But one of the things I do know is when I'm in the presence of a good movie. Uh, because a good movie, when you're watching a good movie, uh, a good movie will have you feel in some type of way, even in the beginning of that movie, where, where you get to a place where that movie gets so good to where you start to be, be overtaken by these feelings of angst and anxiety because you realize at some point in time, this movie has got to end. Oh, y'all ain't got to be yet. That are good, and you can watch them, and you get to that place where you know it has to end, and so you start to be overtaken by sadness or the fact that it's going to end soon. But I really like watching a good movie when I'm at home. The reason why I like to watch it at home is because I can, so I can do something at home that I can't do when I'm in the theater. At home, when I watch a good movie and it's starting to get good to me, and I don't really want it to end, I can press pause. <laughs>
with y'all tomorrow. I pray y'all come help me tomorrow. And uh, we're going to do some good stuff. God is going to really show up in this place. And we're anticipating his presence even in this place. We want to pray right now, if you would. And let us bow as we go before God and consecrate even this moment uh, in prayer. God, we thank you. We thank you for being so good. We thank you for blessing us and for bringing us even to this present moment in our lives where we're able to reflect even right now, Father, and just say thank you. We lift our voices and we say thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done. But most of all, we thank you anticipatorily for what you're going to do in our lives. We are so grateful for the opportunity uh, to be your children and to allow our lights to shine. We thank you for the opportunity to make uh, marks uh, even on uh, this territory that we're in, all for the glory of the kingdom of God. Uh, God, we ask that you continue to bless this ministry, uh, bless the minister of this ministry, bless, bless your leader, Brother David Wilson, as he continues to lead this church, and bless the leaders that you've given him that help lead. Uh, for we realize that this is not an effort that can be done alone, but it's going to take everybody to make contributions, Lord. We pray. Uh, we pray for every family, we pray for every child, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl uh, that is a part of this work and whose lives shall be touched by this work in this ministry. And God, we just pray that you bless them in a big way. We pray that you, pray that you continue to give them the strength, give them uh, the foresight. Father, give them the wherewithal in the coming days and coming years, the coming even decades, Lord, to continue to do uh, your bidding, even in this particular part of your vineyard. Lord, we love you. We thank you so much for Jesus who makes this even possible. And we ask that you just continue to bless him as we lift and run in this prayer that his mighty matches and eternal name. And everyone who loves the Lord said, Amen. Amen. Good to be here, and we are um, poised for some great singing on tonight. Y'all ready to hear some good singing? Yeah. Amen, amen. Well, our first group is from Staten Island, the North Shore Church of Christ. I mean, we are glad to have the Christian echoes in the house. Amen, amen. Thank you for coming to give us uh, this afternoon. And God will come. We're going to sing them up. Is that all right? Jesus gave his life for a ransom young on Calvary.
Come and praise God. Amen. Amen. We are going to bring to you a few selections. And we're going to be singing, I open my mouth, sweet Jesus. Take the name, rise then, and hold to God and change the name. Amen.
Easter. Yes. First of all, I just want to celebrate you being here. I'd like to thank Brother Wilson, the leadership, Sister Wilson, and everyone for having us here. We're so proud of you guys and the ministry that you're doing here. How powerful is it? And, um, and so, just what, what happy to be here to support it. This song talks about you don't know how blessed you are. So we're going to put a little fudgy on it because we have a fudgy on it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Robert the Beast, but this is the first time she's sung lead since this is yeah. yeah. She's from Boston. This song is on her own CD. So we have to get it right so she doesn't get mad at us. But we'll you. <laughs> Keep her face straight. <laughs> She's going to be making faces at us. <laughs> We're going to get the notes. It'll work. Who can stand against the Lord? No one. 